Shalom. Salamta Tena Yestalin. I am Brother Spence on a wonderful late Thursday afternoon once again, March the 31st, 2022, rhetorically speaking, of course. Realistically, we're approaching the month of Abib, the first Hebraic month of a new cycle. Now, what is the main topic this past week or this present week? These past couple of days, but it's already Thursday of this week, Sunday evening, the epic moment at the Oscars. That's right, the Oscar Awards ceremony on live television, international television from the far ends of the earth. And the famous celebrity, Will Smith, walks up on stage to another famous celebrity and comedian, Chris Rock, hosting this wonderful ceremony and all these other actors and entertainers that have worked hard in their acting career. And a lot of it's infused with Holly Weird and somewhat of the good side of Hollywood, but most of it is the dark side. The dark side. Mm -hmm. One of the many lures of this Babylon shit system, the core of Daughter Babylon, aka USA, this old spiritual Egypt that we're living in in these last of last days on this earth. We're living through revelation, living through prophecy. But back to the topic so i wanted to wait an extra couple days of this week to let certain things saturate i mean that's all people are talking about and guess what that's all that people are supposed to talk about according to the powers that be this is universal this is a fact where the ones may disagree or agree i don't care facts are still facts it's obvious at this point in time it's a distraction. Whether that really happened, of course it really happened, but whether it was prescripted between Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know, the infamous Will Smith walking on stage out of such anger, <clears throat> maybe he felt it was justified anger. Perhaps in many ways, I don't want to say that it was, because it was wrong, no matter how you look at it. Regardless of this long-time personal beef or personal tension between the great comedian Chris Rock and Will Smith, great comedian, um, old school rapper, actor. I mean, I have such a great love and respect <clears throat> for both of these brothers. I do. I have a great love and respect for, for both Chris Rock and and Will Smith as celebrities. You know, for celebrities. Now, don't get it twisted. Other people chime in and pass judgments towards me. Towards I and I say, well, Brother Spence, you have all these videos talking about prophecy and a lot of spiritual subject matter. You know... Why do you put these celebrities in a high pedestal? That's I, that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing by saying I still have a great love and respect for these celebrities. Yes, it's worldly. Of course. It's Hollywood. It's the world. The Bible says, you know, be not conformed to the pattern of this world system, this whole wicked Babylon system, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, especially in that true Christ mind, that mind of Messiah, that true mind of Messiah and fulfillment of the Torah and the prophets. Now, you know, Chris Rock has done a lot of great things as a comedian back in the classic SNL days with Adam Sandler, 
Phil Hartman, Chris Farley, Mike Myers, Dana Carvey, just the all-star cast of SNL back in the epic 90s. And Chris Rock has been all over the place in many other movies, uh, infamous uh, stand-up acts that has made people laugh. Even even brought enlightenment to many of us, even through worldly yet comical, very comical lenses and filters. Like, hey, don't cheat on your wife because you don't want to be that old guy in the club, that old single guy in the club in his late 50s and 60s. You don't want to be that guy. He says, you're going to get caught. I don't care if you're James Bond, 007. <clears throat> Much love and respect for Chris Rock. And then I look at Will Smith. I mean, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. That was the origin of what they called a hardcore rap. In the beginning of hip hop. True culture hip hop after the original, you know, old school rap era where rap and hip hop jumped off on, on the East Coast in uh, New York City, from the Bronx and Brooklyn, and parts of Jersey, Philadelphia. <clears throat> now we have downtown Philly, this hardcore rap style, you know, where the Fresh Prince or Will Smith was rapping about, hey, parents just don't understand. These parents today just don't understand the youth like us just trying to be ourselves and have a good time. So <clears throat> these were two celebrities that also happen to be two great so-called African-American, you know, U.S. citizens that, uh, according to Flesh and Blood, two black men that have made a positive impact, despite the worldly influences, have still made a positive impact on many people of all race, all gender. And <clears throat> it hurt a lot of people, including myself, to see what took place. Now, at first, I kind of understood Will Smith. Like he felt like he had to go up on stage and do something like that. You know, mind you, that night before, my lady Pam and I were in, here in the house, not even watching the Oscars. <clears throat> I think we were here in the kitchen. We were here in the kitchen for a few minutes watching Snoop Dogg and Kelly Clarkson on this new um, contest, American contest, stupid show. I don't watch that stuff, you know, but, and no disrespect to those who do. Um, I mean, respect to Snoop Dogg and Kelly Clarkson, you know, other celebrities. Celebrities. You can like them okay. You can, you can admire their talent and their gifts. They have a good voice, so they're funny, and they're a good actor, or a good artist, a good lyricist. Will Smith has done a lot of positive things, but <clears throat> in his personal issue, or his personal issue with Chris Rock, despite many justified tensions on his behalf, not what he did, you know, not to say that what he did was right at all. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. But, like, I, I was watching it. I woke up Sunday morning getting ready for work, half asleep. The first thing I hear on TV is, oh, uh, Will Smith smacks the comedian Chris Rock in the face on stage at the Oscars. And apparently Chris Rock is hosting. And he makes one little wise crack at his wife Jada's head being shaved. And the clean buzz cut. A lot of times that's a good look. It's a good look for uh, many women. You know, Jada is a very naturally attractive woman, physically. Oh, my lady's fine. One second. Anyways, long story short, we all know what happened, unless you live under a rock at this point in time. Um, yeah, Will Smith uh, gets mad, gets furious because Chris Rock cracks a little joke about Jada's hair. And once again, many beautiful women shave their head as a, 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 a beauty statement, you know, as a fashion. But in her case, she had alopecia. She has alopecia where part of her hair is falling out. And she must be very sensitive about that, being a woman. And 
Um, her husband, Will, knows what she's been through personally. And so with that being said, you know, I kind of thought, you know, maybe this could put an end to the, that um, worldly roasting spirit. You know, some say it was a light joke, and I think it, it wasn't a bad joke, but, it, you know, it, it makes you wonder, like, okay, well, see, Will was not, I repeat, Will Smith was not in the right, as most agree, for the most part, but I understand his intentions, his justified frustration, things may have been built up, blah, blah, blah. This is celebrity gossip they got us all talking about. Whether it was pre-scripted, or not. I'll say that again one more time. Whether it was pre-scripted or not. Now, in some ways, and I have a lot of respect for Will Smith, my lady Pam and I had just finished up watching the Bel Air series, the alternate universe Fresh Prince of Bel Air series on Peacock. It's very interesting. It takes place in modern times. It's like another alternate universe of a young Will Smith in today's times. Very interesting. So you see, like, the mindset that the Fresh Prince or Will Smith himself it, is a positive person. That done many great things with rap and hip-hop and acting and comedy and, and entertainment and just many great things. Although, he got sucked into the undertow. <clears throat> and he... I, I love his movies. I love Independence Day. I love the movie Legend. But Will Smith and his wife have been in this for a long time, deep in the limelight of Babylon system through the Hollywood. The Hollywood is a druid stick, which these satanic druids and these warlocks cast spells, mind control. Why? Because we, we think that it's okay because we have money, because now we're rich and famous according to worldly standards. <clears throat> according to worldly standards, Thousands to millions of people know who we are and, and watch our movies and we're all, you know, we're always on TV with cameras and, and flashing lights and, oh, everyone knows Jada Smith or, or Jada Pinkett, whose name was changed to Smith when she married Will Smith 25 years ago. They've been in the limelight for a long time and that's good. They have a couple kids and they think, hey, we can get into free marriage or an, an open relationship. I don't know what free marriage is, but we can get into so-called free love. You know, we can be swingers and celebrities and raise children in a very, very wholesome, positive environment. And the thing is, I would almost understand Will's intentions for his actions at the Oscars few nights ago, if his wife or his so-called wife Jada was faithful, and if, if Will, not to say he wasn't faithful, but when you let another man go into your woman, we're not talking about polygamy, where Will takes upon another wife or another woman to be a concubine, or no, <clears throat> both of them are having sex with multiple partners. But do you know, do you know what the Bible says about marriage? Do you know that the Bible, stemming from its foundation in the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, of Jah Word, says that actual marriage, a spiritual marriage, is when a man has sexual intercourse with a woman marriage. Most of your so-called Christian pastor pork chops, most of your, your, your Christian pastors, even some even some of the genuine Christian pastors, not just the pastor pork chops and Reverend Bacons and Bishop Bullshits out there. <clears throat> A lot of your imams even within the Islamic world, within that dimension. A lot of your, your so-called Jewish rabbis, will not tell you the true definition of what marriage really is according to the Bible or according to the foundation of Torah. Even reconfirmed in the Quran, I'm sure, in the Arabic verses, because it tells you to go back and read the Bible, which leads us back to the foundation of Torah through 
Hashem's commandments through Jah's commandments. So, according to the Bible, the foundation of Jah were the moment you let your now ex-wife or your so-called wife have sex with another man just because you, you want to dumb it down to so-called open love or open relationship and say you're a swinger, celebrities, <clears throat> you might be having sex with his wife. Well, guess what? As soon as you had sex with the man's wife, that was adultery, which is punishable to death. And as soon as that woman commits adultery, she becomes his wife. And then you swap back and forth, and that's just nasty. Now it's one thing to uh, have a friend with benefits. <clears throat> you got a friend with benefits, you might be a freak, and you're going through a phase of your life, you know, some kind of phase of your life where you just want to get freaky for a little while. And, and even that's not really good. But when you're supposed to be with somebody, you're married to them, whether legally married or not, you're already spiritually married to them according to what the Bible says. Through Jah's commandments. You know, through God's commandments. Facts. So that relationship between Will Smith and, and, and Jada was tainted a long time ago. And this recent news that I never heard about back in August that she had an affair or something. And once again, he said, she said, celebrity gossip. So I would, I would say that if his wife Jada was faithful and they were never caught up in infidelity or an open relationship, you know, so-called open relationship, committing adultery and infidelity and all this nasty, nasty shit passing partners back and forth. <clears throat> I would say, yeah, Will would have been in the right to stand up for his woman. But no, that's not a woman you stand up for. No disrespect to Will or his children. You walk away from that woman. You let her go. You kind of wonder why certain things happen to certain people. And then I thought Chris Rock you know, took it like a man. Say, we'll smack the shit out of him. Well, I mean, the same way I would have reacted. Like, what, really? Wow. He didn't punk out. He didn't. He kept his composure. He was very professional. And kind of, and kind of like, what the fuck, man? Like, it was a G.I. Jane joke, dude. Maybe it wasn't nice. And then there's the question whether Chris Rock knew about Jada having alopecia so, guess what? They got us talking about this. And people having different opinions and fussing about it and getting in arguments on social media and in person. And guess what? Whether it was really, um, I hate to say it, whether it was really prescripted or not, it serves as a great distraction. Because two days ago, guess who mentioned, mm-hmm, Guess who mentioned something about a food shortage in USA, a major food shortage in America coming up. Old President Sleepy Joe, our so-called President Joe Biden. That's right. Question, And it's actually being considered by world leaders right now because... The war in Ukraine could plunge the world into a food shortage. Jane, too, can't wait to see it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh wow! Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of him.